In this video, I'm going to present the hypermeta ontological argument. It's almost entirely not a joke, but not quite. In the process, you will learn at least infinity plus one arguments for God's existence. If you need a bit of a refresher, the plain old vanilla modal ontological argument is like this. God exists in some possible world. Now, God is a necessary being, which means that his existence would extend to all possible worlds, including the actual world where we exist. Boom, mic drop, God exists. Now that argument is incredibly controversial. Atheists throw tons of arguments against it, and theists throw many counter-arguments back, continually tweaking the argument. This leads to multiple versions of the ontological argument. When I was considering this, a thought occurred to me. If there is some version x of the argument in some possible world that actually goes through, then that argument would, from that possible world, prove that God exists necessarily in some other possible world. This then entails that God exists in every possible world, which then entails that God exists in the actual world. We can construct this as a meta-ontological argument. 1. In some possible world, a sound ontological argument is formulated. Maybe this is done in a possible world where a man is born with the intelligence of a million Alvin Planningas. 2. If there's a sound ontological argument in some possible world, then God exists. 3. Therefore, God exists. Cool. But now, the atheists listening here are probably going to come up with some arguments against the meta-ontological argument. But wait. In response to your arguments, I would tweak my meta-ontological argument and possibly come up with multiple different versions of the meta-ontological argument to avoid these objections. This leads to the meta-meta-ontological argument. It goes like this. In some possible world, some version of the meta-ontological argument successfully proves that there is a sound ontological argument in some possible world, which in turn proves that God necessarily exists in some possible world, which entails that God exists in the actual world. Do you see where I'm going with this? Do you see it? Introducing the meta 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 ontological argument. In some possible world, a sound version of the meta meta ontological argument successfully proves that in some possible world, a sound version of the meta ontological argument exists, which in turn successfully proves that in some possible world there exists a sound version of the ontological argument, which proves that in some possible world, God exists, which entails that God exists in the actual world. Okay, saying and writing meta so many times is getting pretty annoying. If I'm writing meta n times, then I'm just going to write meta superscript n. So the meta zero ontological argument is just the normal ontological argument. The meta one ontological argument is the meta ontological argument. The meta two ontological argument is the meta meta ontological argument, and so on. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Here's the hyper meta ontological argument. One. There is some possible world with a sound version of a meta k ontological argument for some k. 2. The meta k ontological argument entails that there is a sound version of a meta k minus 1 ontological argument in some possible world, which entails yada yada yada, which entails the existence of a sound version of the ontological argument in some possible world. 3. That version of the ontological argument entails that God exists in some possible world, which 4 entails that he exists in the actual world. Huh. Well, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to subscribe if you enjoy my content. Thank you for watching.